Black Ops 1? What? Black Ops? COD? What are you doing? What are you doing? I know. I know. Just hear me out. I jumped on this game yesterday after much requests to bring back a bit of COD here and there. Not to fully start uploading it again because generally in my eyes COD is fucked. It's dead. It's dead. And as soon as I got on... I was level 1, didn't have any of the guns or anything like that, and just the nostalgia hit me. It hit me. How much I used to love, you know, sweating gameplays generally on COD, not just on Battle, um, Black Ops 1, but you know, on Modern Warfare 3, even though it was a shit game. Sweating for Moabs and gameplays and stuff, and I miss that a bit, I do miss that. Don't get me wrong, I love uploading FIFA and I will continue to upload FIFA until I stop making videos, but I do miss... Look at this fail right here. I had the fucking button layout all wrong. I was trying to knife with uh, with the right stick, I think it was, when I'm playing on tactical now. Anyway, the nostalgia hit me. The nostalgia was just overwhelming because it all came flooding back to me. The times I had on COD, the times I had playing games I don't play anymore. And generally, I was just thinking about the future and stuff. I know this is going from one fucking topic to another pretty, pretty rapid, but... You know, when you when looking into the future, your past influences everything. Grades, degrees, work experience will affect who you are at the present moment and probably what you will become. As much as you don't want it to influence what happens, it probably will. Because genuinely, you have bad grades, you have no work experience, you didn't get a degree... 9 times out of 10, or well, 99 times out of 100, you're going to end up with, you know, I'd say a bog standard job. Um, potentially, uh, please don't take this offensively if any of you work in an office here, but you know, when you say you work in an office, you know, that's sort of a standard job. I'm not talking, I'm not talking, you know, being a doctor. I'm not talking about being an actor or anything like f fancy like that. I'm talking out. I'm talking about you know nine to five, clocking in, clocking out, can't wait for the weekends, that sort of job. And when looking into the future, as I said, your past influences absolutely everything. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, because when you're looking at your past and planning for the future, you learn from your mistakes. Past mistakes are almost a a good thing. Um, because you know you can then learn from them and build for the future. I'll give you an example. This Tuesday, last Tuesday just gone, I had a massive, massive job interview at um, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers, you know, pictures the the film company, the multi-billion-pound film company, and uh, I've worked for them a bit in the past. And this, um, you know, vacancy was more of a kind of managerial type role. It was more responsibility, more pay. Fucking hell, voice crack, more pay more pay than what I was on at the moment and uh, so there was five positions available I think it was five and 72 people turned up for these five positions so I knew it was gonna be tough unfortunately I didn't I didn't end up getting the job but I got all the way down to like the final 10 and then got to the interview stage and clearly didn't you know sell myself enough for them to warrant them hiring me but you know, I looked back on the experience that I had that day. I was out all day. Um, you know, it was a fantastic experience. A lot, I learnt a lot about, I learnt a lot more about the company that I didn't really know before, and learnt how it worked and all that sort of stuff. And you know, looking to the future now, I will reapply for that position in the next couple of months. And learning from my past mistakes that I made last time, I will learn from those, and it will you know, drive me to push myself further to get myself over that line and into, you know, that top five or six and actually, you know, get the job this time. In terms of YouTube, I'll try and keep things relevant. Learning from past mistakes makes you a better YouTuber. Um, let's take Team of the Season, for example. Last year, FIFA 13 Team of the Season, I didn't give a fuck. I really didn't give a fuck. I was bored of FIFA at the time. Team of the Season didn't interest me. The only thing that was doing well on YouTube at the moment at that time was, you know, Pink Slips, and I've never really been that sort of channel. So I, you know, didn't do much at all. I uploaded a couple of, um, sorry, Team of the Season videos, and it did nothing for my channel. So I made sure this year that I smashed Pink Slip. Uh, Pink Slip. Why do I keep saying Pink Slips? 
I made sure this year that I smashed team of the season and as such it has had a massive positive impact on my channel um, and I want to thank you guys for that you know some days I was uploading double Wednesday Thursday Fridays after the new team of the season was released I was uploading double but at least I was uploading every day and as I said it's had a massive positive impact on my channel and not just you know team of the season but other videos series and stuff that I've made that haven't potentially gone well or have you know made me think about what I need to do in order to make my videos better have I think have you know I think it's made me a better a better youtuber that than I than I than I am you know than I, than I was um, and hopefully that will that will uh, continue so anyway guys that is pretty much it if you did enjoy this kind of weird commentary then uh, give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new around here some people said I lost my touch on Black Ops. Lost my touch. Bollocks.